What's up, everyone? Hope you guys are having an amazing weekend. Um, today is Saturday. I should upload this tomorrow, tomorrow, Sunday. I just wanted to make a video today, as you guys can probably tell from the title. Um, I need a break. And what I mean by when I say I need a break is like, I need a break from, um, I guess you can say, social media, you know, um, just a little bit of everything you know i've been really focused into trying to do everything um all at once honestly like i just been feeling a lot very well overwhelmed with everything that i've been trying to do um you know i obviously got my real estate license in december and so i've been really focused into you know building my business with real estate as as you know a traditional agent and stuff like that and um also um me and my friend started a, a business as well that, you know, we've been working on. Um, and, you know, um, also, you know, me doing stocks in the morning. Um, every single morning, um, the stock market opens at 730. So I'll wake up usually at like 630. By the time, you know, I'm down, sitting down and waiting for the stock market to open. It's like, uh, I want to say probably like 715, 720. Um, I, the, the way I'm t I take social media is like, it's, you know, it's a great business platform. But it also, to me, can be a very big distraction as to, you know, um, what I'm trying to achieve. And so I heard of this new, I guess you can say, like this new program that, um, you know, I, I see online. It's called uh, Monk Mode. And I think I'm going to try it out. I want to try it out. Um, like I said in the last video, you know, when I did the 48-hour water fast and I didn't eat for two days, um, I always like to challenge myself. You know, I'm... I'm you know, that's kind of what I feed off of that, of challenges, you know. And so um, I'm always on a battle with myself to try to improve. And, you know, when I heard about Monk Mode and how it helps you, you know, cut out distractions and just focus on work and what, you know, your goals and your dreams and stuff and the amazing results out of it. I said, you know, why, why don't I try this out? Like, even though I take social media as like, you know, a great platform to, you know, build your business and stuff, like I usually focus my social media as to, you know, obviously inspiring, but also get, you know, future clients or sharing my journey, stuff like that. But like I said, it can be a very big distraction as well. There's a lot of stuff, you know, most of the stuff that I follow is, you know, usually positive stuff, but there is like, you know, every once in a while you'll see some stupid things that um, it's just a distraction. I decided that I'm going to do one week or not one week, but 10 days. So starting Monday, uh, the, the 20th until um, the second, which would be 10 days. I'm not, I'm going to cut out social media. I'm going to cut out, um, I'm going to pretty much go monk mode, which in monk mode pretty much is. You know, if you don't know what a monk is, monk is pretty much like they, they have their religion and stuff like that. And, you know, even though I'm Christian, but I do respect, you know, other religions and I respect, you know, the discipline that, you know, these people have. They're disciplined with their religion pretty much. And, you know, seeing how a monk lives, they have a very disciplined routine and they stick to that and they practice, you know, uh, gratitude, made of, you know, meditation, um, all that stuff to just live a, a healthy life. And, you know, and they, they focus on their work, they focus on what they need to do. And so I'm going to, I want to try this out. Honestly, I, I think that I just want to try it out for 10 days and see how it goes. Obviously, a monk, um, you know, doesn't have social media, doesn't, you know, drink alcohol, or doesn't even, you know, do none, none of that stuff. Um, and so that's what I, you know, that's why it's called monk mode. Um, and I learned this, I saw a lot of videos over it, but I was watching a video of Iman Gaji um, that he made a video towards this and how, you know, it's, it's a great way to just to reset your mind, you know, so that you're, you know, dialed into work and seeing better results. But, you know, it's, it's, I think it's something, it's a challenge, you know, and that's something that I love. And so one of the, you know, the main thing is I'm going to cut out social media. I am not going to upload, you know, so, you know, a part of that is YouTube. Um, so I'm not going to upload anything. I, you know, I know I made it a goal to upload at least one video a week, but, um, you know, this challenge is, you know, part of that. So, YouTube, unfortunately, is a part of social media, so I'm going to make sure that I don't upload that or don't upload a video. 
Um, I'm, I'm going to cut out Instagram. I'm going to cut out TikTok, um, Snapchat, which I don't even use, but I still have it. So all social media I'm going to cut out. And I'm strictly just going to focus into work. That's it. And <clears throat> I mean, my morning, my daily routines are pretty much already there. You know, like I, um, you know, I pray in the morning um, and then I, you know, meditate and then I, you know, uh, go to the gym. I exercise and stuff like that. Um, so the biggest thing for me is just going to be social media. And I'm not even going to like, I'm not going to. If you're watching this video, like this is where you're gonna hear it. I'm not gonna like put it on Instagram or or TikTok or anything like saying like, oh, I'm gonna be off of social media, you know, this and that. I I don't want any distractions, so I I I'm not gonna say anything to anyone. All I'm gonna do is just do it, and then I'm just gonna focus on my craft and on my work. And then after, I'm gonna come back and I'll make a video later down the road in ten days. Um, as to, you know, how I felt the results and stuff like that. Um, when it comes to, uh, monk mode, I was watching videos on it and seeing like what, you know, are like the non-negotiables and stuff like that. And, and I do agree, but I think there's one that, um, a lot of these people forgot to mention and I see that monks do. Um, so now I'm going to say the non-negotiables that I'm going to do and then I'm going to uh, add another one that I think is important and should be in, into uh, monk mode. And the first one obviously is no social media. So cut out that. The second one is going to be, um, day, you know, every day you have to pray. And, um, you know, that's something that's non-negotiable for me. The third non-negotiable is exercise. Of course, you know, that's something, like I said, I do this every day anyways so it's non-negotiable for me and it's going to be easy uh the fourth one is meditate um you know every i am guilty of this i don't meditate every day but um you know i'm going to make sure that during these 10 days i do it every single day and it's non-negotiable um the fifth thing is having a strict diet you know making sure that you're eating the right foods you know and sticking to that and i'm gonna make sure that i do that that's also another non-negotiable non-negotiable for me um and the sixth one and the final one that i added myself because i you know i feel like a monk does this is um and i don't see it anywhere else but it's it's to wear the same clothes every day um if you look at it monks wear the same clothes they wear the that yellow um you know robe or whatever and i'm not saying you have to wear the same t-shirt like but it's like the same outfit and the reason for that is because from what i learned i mean you can look at there's so many successful people like an example is uh mark zuckerberg he wears the same t-shirt every day uh steve steve jobs used to wear the same outfit every day and the reason for that their philosophy for that was because they said that um they didn't want to waste any time as to you know going to the closet and having to trying to figure out what they have to wear and so you know i was like okay i mean i i usually i mean i don't know if you guys noticed but i usually i only have like five pairs of t-shirts like i i usually wear the t same t-shirt every day um you know i have like five black t-shirts and maybe like three other different color t-shirts um and i usually wear the same like um, it's the same black t-shirt. It's a very simple t-shirt. The reason why I do it is because I don't I just want to focus into my work and that's it. And I the monks do the same thing. They wear the same, you know, orange robe. Um, and you know, I, I'm not telling I'm not telling you that you have to wear uh, the same exact t-shirt because obviously that that could be nasty, especially if you, you know, go to the gym and all that and you exercise in the same shirt. Um, let's say you have you know, five, five black t-shirts that you can go and buy at Walmart, at Target, wherever. And, you know, for like, I don't know, like, let's say you buy a package that, you know, you can wear the whole week and, you know, you have a, a gym shirt and then you have a pair of jeans, um, a pair of, you know, joggers, whatever shorts, and that's it. You just focus into wearing the same outfit every day. It doesn't have to be the same t-shirt, but it's like pretty much the same outfit. Um, and that way you reduce the time of having to, stress about what you have to wear and this and that and this is just during monk mode i'm not saying you have to be like this all the time but um during monk mode i think it is important because monks you know wear the same stuff they don't waste their time at and they don't waste their time on to having to um see what outfit they have to wear for the day you know what i mean so 
Um, it saves you a lot of time and it's something I'm going to do. Um, so, um, that's another thing that I included on the sixth one is that same, this wear the same outfit. And so, um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it for 10 days. Um, yeah, I'm going to, I just need, I need, I need to focus into my craft. I need to focus into my work. You know, I'm still going to create content. I'm just not going to upload anything until after the monk mode is done. Um, and you know, yeah, just get dialed into work and just focus into that. Um, I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'll, I'm excited to upload a video, um, on March 2nd or 3rd or sometime after I'm done so that I can tell you guys the results. But um yeah this is just another challenge that i wanted to do and i wanted to share with you guys um yeah let me know on the comments what you think let me know if you're gonna try it or let me know if you have tried it and the results that you've gotten from it um thank you guys for watching god bless you guys there's going to be two links down below the first link is going to be my instagram you can follow me if you want um i mean i'm gonna erase instagram so um if you message me on there you probably won't reply but if you want to, you know, if you're interested into buying or purchasing a property, um, just know that I'm a licensed real estate agent um, out here in Arizona. And I'll leave my email so you can email me because I most likely won't reply on Instagram uh, because I'm going to delete it for 10 days. So there's that first link plus my email. And then the third link is going to be uh, Linktree, which is going to have a bunch of cool, you know, stuff. If you want to open a stock market account. Um, if you want to buy some Christian workout gear, if you want to buy some Amazon products that I personally love, um, and just a bunch of cool stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are, you know, killing it and chasing after your goals and staying hungry. And, um, yeah, um, I'm excited to see how, uh, the results come from this.